We have giraffe schools. Uh, with, I use the word giraffe, you see, as a symbol for nonviolence. We'll see today that uh, the language we're going to study is a language of the heart. And so I use giraffe language for that because giraffes have the largest heart of any land animal. So, so for these political reasons and theological uh, reasons, we started to develop a language that I call jackal language. It's a language that cuts us off from life and uh, makes it very easy to, do, to be violent. Very easy to be violent. In fact, in that book I mentioned, Wink says that domination cultures, one of the things you have to educate people is to make violence enjoyable. See. And we've done a good job of that. We make violence enjoyable in our culture. For the two hours a night from seven to nine when children are watching television the most, in 75% of the programs they watch, the hero either kills somebody or beats them up. You see, so we, and when does this happen at the climax of the program? We, we've been educated for quite a while to make violence enjoyable. So even though I think what that song was about is what is really closer to our nature, this natural giving, we've been educated to make violence enjoyable. And educated in a way we can even be violent to our children. So what is jackal language like? See, jackal language, as I've mentioned, is a language of moralistic judgments. You think in terms of who's right, who's wrong, who's good, who's bad. And when you mention change, yes, uh, we want change at times. So how do you get change in the jackal system? Watch a parent try to bring about change in the child. This is a parent teaching a young child, say, one of the most important words in jackal. Say you're sorry. I'm sorry. You're not really sorry. I can see it. You're not really sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I forgive you. Can you imagine a game like that? Can you imagine a parent responding to a child that way? And if a parent is going to do that to a child in their own family, what are they going to do? to people from other cultures who behave in a way they don't appreciate. So of course you're going to have violence wherever you have this kind of thinking. In cultures that do not have this thinking, you don't see violence, you see. So that's how we got off target. Even though we could be playing the game, make life wonderful each moment, we have been educated for quite a while to play another game, who's right? So what are the parts of this game of who's right? I've, all, I've just mentioned one of them. One part is moralistic judgments, learning how to go up to our head and think basically in terms of right and wrong, good and bad, normal, abnormal. So let's see if whether what you wrote down answered the question I ask. Is it an observable behavior or did you mix in any evaluation? And my two friends here will help us to make this evaluation. And this animal has been taught uh, to, somewhat like a police dog to sniff out narcotics. Uh, if there's any jackal mixed in, he will howl. If you answered the question, this animal will dance. So, sir, what did you write down? Mm -hmm. Okay. My dad makes harsh, harsh judgments and insulting remarks. Oh, my God, you've killed my poor jackal. <laughs> He could have handled the harsh, that was one judgment, but insulting, harsh and insulting, you know, see, you know, those are two judgments that... Actually, he does use insulting words. No, there is no such thing. After today, in fact, seriously, by 4.30 this afternoon, you will never hear another insult. It won't exist. Insults will not exist. I'm going to show you to use some technology today that takes insults and criticism out of the waves, airwaves. So that no matter what your father says, you can never hear another harsh statement or another insult. Because we're going to show you today how to use this technology. <laughs> 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 
And with this technology, it will be impossible for you to hear criticism, harsh remarks, insults. With these ears, all you can hear is the only thing human beings are ever saying. Please and thank you. See, that's all. We're going to show you today that all what used to sound like criticism, judgments, blame, are simply tragic, suicidal expressions of please. 